Welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and talk design, and we are back with more Mighty Number no. 9. Um, last time we left off, I was struggling in the water level, and I may have accidentally got a game over off screen. <laughs> uh, but we came back, and just like with the first level, I did a lot better the second time. <laughs> no kidding? I, th I, th I, th I thought we've already guy. like yeah, I thought we've already established <laughs> this. Mega Man, Mega look at Man. That. No, but look at this. Look at this. Like you do, you do kind of like glide around, and that's kind of fun. No, it's it's kind of cool. It's you know, <laughs> this stage is kind of funny in that it combines two mechanics that I think I hate most in games like this. Hey, really? Water mechanics and ice. And ice mechanics. mechanics. That's really funny. It's it's because they both are mobility restricting mechanics. Um, and while they can be fun, they I really only like them in short bursts, which I'm sure they won't really exist much outside of this level. I think we're at the boss part. Um, but, like, Donkey Kong Country is a good oh, example God. where, like, there's a lot of water levels. And then, I don't know if Mega Man X actually had sliding stuff. I don't think they, they did. Um, but I, I back when I was in school, I designed a game that was like a kind of like a 3D platformer. Um, and we had an ice level, and... I wasn't the one that designed it, and I was so critical to the designer that worked on that level. I'm sure he will never <laughs> well, for, with you ever forgive again. me for. Well, oh God! It was funny too because you gotta you gotta assimilate, dude. I, I, oh, who can I assimilate? Both of them. No, they're not assimilation ready. Yeah. Uh, well. No, they're not. One of the. I mean, the one that you shot on the left took some damage. Yeah. Oh, they each have separate, separate, yeah. um... Yeah, yes. Ah, uh, okay, I was sorry. Like, I, I, I can assimilate them. I, was, I can assimilate that guy now. I, I thought they were healing, and it was only because you were changing targets. Uh, yeah, except I don't get fucked by this guy. Ah, dude. That was my fault. Man, our, our playthrough of Pusser Toe did nothing to help you here. No, it's, well, this is not the same thing. <laughs> this is not the same thing as Pusser Toe. <laughs> oh, what did he give you? I don't know. Like a Drugs. weapon boost? He's like, you suck. Here's something. <laughs> Here's a little pick-me-up, buddy. Oh, wow. I think you just have this power-up now. Because normally they work on a time basis, I, th I think. Um, but it doesn't look like this one is going away. Oh, there it goes. So maybe it was like infinite I, for... I just like jumping. Yeah, I don't know. Those uh, those power ups are still I, the one thing that's the least intuitive in my mind. No, no, you got this. Just take out that guy in the right, and then you'll be halfway through them. Yeah, and no, now I you're just, at half health, so you're fine. You're you're one step ahead of them. I'm a little more than one step ahead. Yeah. So just don't get hit. Get good. I kind of like this boss battle though. Or maybe it's a sub boss. I'm not really sure. It's a sure. sub boss. It's totally a sub boss. Oh, okay. So you could still fail big time from here. Oh yeah. But it's it's kind of a fun way to like use the same like yeah. I don't know game engine mechanics. Physics. Yeah, no, it's definitely fun. It's just that like I, I I'm 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 just slowly figuring out what I need to do correctly here. You just gotta not get hit by the. the yeah, no. Well, uh, dashing around as well. I, I just don't use my dash enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess the dash is. Well, cause like, cause the way it bounces, it's not like I can just like jump over it either. Super easy, like right. Except for that, I didn't. Yeah. Whatever. Well, the dash will get you past it fast, so it leaves less room for error. Yeah, yeah. Like that was good. Um, was was the the guy that worked on the the Mega Man series? Did he ever work on X, or was he off of <sighs> Mega Man at that point? You know what? I know he's big. He was big on nine. So I'm not sure where what his work was on X. Um, okay. Because I know, there's, there's probably a lot of fans freaking out right now. They're like, he was on X, you moron! I, I mean, maybe. I, I, I feel like I do notice a lot of parallels between Mighty Number no. 9 and Mega Man X. Um, like, the dash ability, like, even the weapon, the, like, assimilation stuff. While there wasn't assimilation, per se, in, in X, it was the same idea of, like, being able to create new, or make... Like, defeat a boss and then get new weaponry. Yeah. Although we still haven't really figured out what that other weird, like... I'm not sure what that guy's floating terminal thing does. is. I wish I wouldn't get... I, I, I'm trying to figure out how to avoid it, like... It's sort of one of those things where it's like it's almost better to watch the Pong Ball 
and not the guy you're shooting at. I just can't. I'm just so bad at this. I am just so bad at this. So bad platformers, guys. Welcome back <laughs> to Poncho. That's not even a platformer. Though. Oh, no, I'm just bad at shooting and aiming and everything. I'm just bad at everything. It's okay, buddy. It's just that, like, I can't dodge around so nice. I'm just, I'm still trying to, you know, get better at this, uh... Good. Let me just run right into it. Oh, and they give you more power-ups, too, the more you... Yeah, they're like, oh, hey, you really suck. Here's everything you need. <laughs> I mean, do you feel like that cheapens the experience oh, for you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Is it, but is it better to cheapen the experience for the benefit of letting the player make it through this or you know some games i'd say yes other games i'd definitely say no and for this I'm you're saying there. no yeah I don't, i'm just i just i'm just a someone who gets frustrated and i want to be better at games so and is it so, kind of like rubbing salt in the wound yeah it, oh. there you go oh, Dude, you, you got it this time no because i like i can't you totally got it this time. I believe in you. Truly, I do. Help a feet. There you go. There you go. No, it's because I have to jump up high. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. We should probably just stop because I'm not gonna. We, we should probably put a hold on this. Should, we, should we pause it? Yeah, until I've actually taken him down. Okay, we can pause Let's it. Let's give it a minute. Yeah, I got that time. Wait, what? He's not dead yet. Yeah, no, I'm. Do it, do it, do it. Yes. Yeah, but I have no health. It's okay, it's okay. You beat them. Maybe All right. it'll be checkpoint. See, I just had to beat the other one. Yep. Uh, are we back? Yep, we we're back. back. Fucking whatever, guys. We're back. I beat the stupid boss after <laughs> I got game over because okay. I was frustrated. It's better this way. She was interesting, though. So something I noticed, when you do the little back grips on the Steam controller, it also does your blast. It, you know, I've noticed that's actually pretty common with a lot of games uh, with the Steam controller. I, I think it, like just defaults to I mean whatever yeah. what's the shoot button in this uh, it's X yeah I think it tends to default to things like X oh you can just shoot your way I through those uh, I hope I don't need those cool and now we get to find out if you get to start past them I oh. do that, okay, that's that's really really good design. So they, they they do count that as a <laughs> checkpoint. They do count that as a checkpoint. You know, honestly, and that's one of those things too that I think a lot of designers um, don't always consider. And sometimes, oh, like they'll put the checkpoint before a boss and not after. Um, and so every time you die, you have right, to fight you have it to, again. Yeah, and you it's have to just redo, like, like, oh my god, why? Like, Are you kidding me? I have to fight this again. Um, and while you know maybe those designers might think it's easy, um, not all players have that experience. No. So it, it's it, it's good. It's smart to design it that way. Um, and we were even talking off camera about how you know, like, the reviews for this game came through, came in, and a lot of people just they didn't like it. Yeah, and um, I have a feeling though it goes beyond just like I think it's the whole principle of what happened with the game. Yeah, that's fair. If I'm being hundred percent honest, once. I just yeah. Like, yeah, there you go. There you go. Now try. I get that. Oh, the stupid ice. <laughs> oh. oh, you can't grab it? Yeah, I, that's what I was trying to do. I should uh, grab that. Like, ah, what? I'm going to try one more time and then I'm... Alright, fine. Oh well. but, okay. but yeah, I, I feel like that's not a fair way to to judge a wow. game, though. Well, like, and, and that's just it. I feel like this game um, did get so critically judged because... Oh, that's cool. All right. But I mean, that'd be like saying that Fez is a terrible game for taking, you know, Tip for taking years, three yeah. or four, or maybe five years to develop. And like, the game is a masterpiece in my opinion. Right. Um. And so what if it took those extra couple of years? It still is a great game. And like, I think that even though I'm not the one playing this, I still think that this game has shares a lot of good design uh, elements from like Mega Man X and other Mega Man games. And like. Sure, you're having a hard time with it, but that doesn't mean yeah, that it's necessarily bad. Yeah, but like, I mean, I'm still bad. enjoying it. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, that's just because I'm bad at video games. People, don't. Don't take my bad experience <laughs> for fact here. I just suck. Ooh, we About know that this is going to the boss. It's not going to matter. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. So now... So it's the same thing, just with the extra... Just with ice. 
I wonder though if if after you beat this if this is the actual boss battle. Oh my god. Yeah, don't... They play a tighter corner too. It does seem a little tighter. Yeah, because there's less vertical space. Well don't worry so much about talking. Just focus uh, well, on uh winning. Uh, I'll do all I'll do all the talking for us. Well, <laughs> it's okay, you still got two still lives. Got two lives. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see if my little buddy gives me some power ups. I could. I could just totally, you know, freak out and do my, uh, my ah, 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 and then you know, see what happens from that. Well, I mean, uh, that's something that we don't do a lot on the show is have like really explosive reactions. And that's it's, just... it's because like I, I have a very mild personality, and Nathan is, I don't know, somewhat similar. Well, yeah, Nathan doesn't freak out like I do. I am the freaking out <laughs> type. That's why playing Mario Party with you is I am hilarious. the one who freaks. If this was Breaking <laughs> Bad, I am the one who freaks. But I guess the point of what I'm saying is you don't have to hold it back. I'm oh sure... my gosh, it's so frustrating! God damn it! I just want to kill everything. <laughs> oh! Oh, I can jump over you now, but I can't... Oh, okay. You got it, you got it! Yes! Yeah. But it's not the boss fight! Because that's not how this works. Because this is gonna. Oh my god! Wow, two sub bosses. That's just well, mean. two of the same sub bosses. Oh. Okay. If I get a game over because of this, I'm done. I'm done with this level. If I get a game over, that's it's because okay. Of this. We, if if you get another well, game where, where over. Where are we at time? Man? Are we almost at time? We're at time. Yeah, we're at time. Let's just uh, <laughs> hey guys, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Another stupid. What's the question of the day? I don't even care. Uh, let's talk about just, the, the, that sub boss. Yes, let's talk about that sub boss. <laughs> Go ahead um, and talk what, about what, it. what do you think about the design of that sub boss and even mm. the fact that they introduce it twice and add a different mechanic they to do it? They do it twice just to make me cry. Just. <laughs> So share, share some of your thoughts about the sub-boss design and, and the repetition and like the new mechanics added to it. And uh, maybe how you would do it differently if you had the chance. Yeah, would you, would you do two sub-bosses in a row of the same thing with ice? Please, just let us know. And also, guys, remember to vote for what you want to see next. If you want to see us play more Mighty Number no. 9, watch my sanity <laughs> slowly deteriorate and crumble. Or any other awesome game that we'll have up here. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode.